Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. Today I will show you how you can create attributes and methods in your classes. This will add more functionality to our classes and this is an important thing to learn so make sure you stick around until the end of the video. Okay, let's get right into it. So in the last video we created a class and created an instance of that class and created some attributes for that instance. Now that was quite inefficient so in this video I am going to show you how you can create attributes and methods inside of the class. So firstly let's talk about methods. Now methods are just functions that are part of an object. For example a car has a method to accelerate, brake and turn. So let's create some methods. To do this we create it like any other function but the first parameter must be self. So a house method might be, I don't know, uh, how about open window? So define open window and the first parameter must be self and I'll explain this in a little bit but then underneath this we can print opening the windows and then down here we can do house one dot open window and we don't actually have to pass anything in here because the reason why we've got this self is when we um, call a method the instance is automatically passed as an argument through this function up here. So house1 is passed as an argument up here, which is why we need self. This is just common practice to call it self. So house1 is being passed to this uh, method over here. We could change some attributes. So down here you see how we're doing house1.doors. We could do house1.windows equals 5 but instead of doing house1 we should write self because house1 is being passed automatically to self and self is equal to house1 the reason why we write self instead of house1 in case this was house2 for example so if this was house1 we'll get an error house1 doesn't even exist because the instance doesn't exist so we use self so for any instance we'll work with it. So now if we run it, it works fine. If we change the name of this back to house1, it still works completely fine. And after this self parameter we can have any parameters we would like, so uh, we'll just pass like windows here and then we can do self.windows equals windows and here we will pass like 7 and then we'll print out windows down here and we get seven windows because we're calling this method open window and we're passing windows and self so print print opening the windows and self dot windows equals windows so house one dot windows equals seven because we've passed it here seven seven now let's talk about attributes and creating them in the class and passing them through the instance so to do this I'm just going to get rid of this and I'm going to clear all of this as well to do this we are going to create a special kind of method and this is the initialize method. And if you are coming from another language this is the constructor. It is written like this. Define underscore underscore init underscore underscore. And this is short for initialize. And it must be written like this. It has to have two underscores either side. And then it must take the parameter self and any other attributes you would like to create. So for this I'm going to use doors, windows and floors. And self has to be here because the instance is already passed when it's created and this init method is automatically called when we create the instance. So as soon as we do house this init method is called and self is automatically passed as well. So now we can write all the attributes we would like, so self.doors, we're creating a new attribute, self.doors equals doors, self.windows equals windows, and self.floors equals floors. So this is like saying house1.doors equals doors, which is here, house1.windows equals windows, which is this value here, and house1.floors equals this value here. And now down here we need to define doors, windows and floors. So we'll have two doors, six windows and three floors. Now let's print uh, house1.doors, house1.windows 
and house one dot floors. And we get two, six, three. So to recap, let's just go through this again. This init method is called as soon as we create the instance, which we are doing right here. The instance house one is automatically passed as soon as we create the instance as well. So that's why we have self up here. And self is equal to house one. So house one dot doors equals doors, which is two. House one dot windows equals windows, which is six. And house one dot floors equals floors, which is three. And just for demonstration, let's get rid of self and see what happens. We get an error. In it takes three positional arguments, but four were given. So it's saying that there's three arguments here, but four were given. Well, you might be thinking there's only three down here. No, there's not. There's four because house one is being passed automatically. So there is actually four in here, but there's only three here. So we need to have self up here. And there we go. Okay, that's it for attributes and methods. Next video, I'll be teaching you about class variables, which are different to instance attributes. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll always reply to you guys. If you'd like to support me, all you have to do is give this video a like. It really does help me out. That's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.